Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing my top picks for the best early weapons in Fallout 76. It seems like a lot of people think that in this game you need to specialize right away as a quote unquote melee build or a gun build. And we might find out that that's true later on in the game, maybe in PvP. But as far as the early game goes, I don't think there's really a clear winner between those playstyles. I've been playing the game since the first day of beta on Xbox, and I can tell you that in all of my experiences so far, I actually appreciate being able to both melee in a tight situation and then pick off enemies from full range. So I think there's advantages to both styles of combat in this game, depending on the situation, depending on the enemies you're facing. So a good rule of thumb will be you want to have at least one strong melee weapon and one strong gun on your character all the time. So let's talk about melee first. And for me, melee weapons really shine from about level one to five in this game. For one thing, ammo can be scarce in the starting areas of the game. So relying on nothing more than your pistol is gonna put you into trouble early on when you can't maintain enough ammo. Melee weapons obviously have the advantage in that department. Of course, the disadvantage is that you will probably take some extra damage as you need to be closer to the target. So you have to think about that as well. With this in mind, you really want to pick heavy hitting, two-handed style melee weapons over anything else, I think. That's because these have the potential to finish off enemies in like one or two hits, and they're really gonna save your health from getting too low in that situation. There's several good options for two-handed melee early on, um, including like pitchforks, baseball bats, the uh, fire axe. These can be found pretty easily on just uh, basic enemies that you kill like Scorched. You can also look for traders at the railway stations as they might have these items for sale too. Just keep a lookout and make sure you pick those up as you move throughout the world. By far though my favorite early melee weapon has to be the sledgehammer. This thing is an absolute beast. You can see I can basically two shot any level 10 super mutant with this. You'll one shot Scorched very easily, even some super mutants with this. Um, so it's really a blast, very powerful. It is a little bit tricky to find. Um, I've seen it dropped by super mutants. Um, Scorched will drop it, or you can just find it in random containers. So definitely keep an eye out for this one. And the modifications are really nice too. I haven't gotten them all unlocked yet, but I am using the heavy sledgehammer right now, which is rocket powered, which is pretty awesome. Um, there are a few other interesting ones that I've found as well. You got your basic heavy, uh, which is more damage. You got the heavy rocket, which is what I'm using right now. Then you got the heavy spiked, which has some extra chance to cripple, and then the sharp sledgehammer, which is pretty cool looking as well. Next up, let's talk about guns. So many of the early guns in this game are pretty much garbage, sorry. That's basically true of any of the pipe pistols that you'll get. And you get tons of these early on in the game, but they barely do any damage at all. Probably better off pistol whipping your enemy to death than firing these off at anybody. You have things like the pipe rifle and the pipe revolver, which are slightly better, but still pretty weak. So I don't bother with any of these. What you really, really want to get is the hunting rifle. The hunting rifle is a great combo of both range and damage. You can one-shot any scorched pretty easily from a distance, and level five super mutants can go down in one to two shots also. The reload time can be a little bit slow, but you can mod that out too. And if you pick your targets well and you make use of cover, this is absolutely a great weapon to start the game off. One of the other great things about hunting rifles is that there's basically no shortage of new rifles in this game, both for modding or for if your rifle just breaks, you can just get a new one. I mean, look at all these mods I've unlocked. That's probably because I've broken down dozens and dozens of hunting rifles since the beta. Like I mentioned earlier, you can modify basically any aspect of the rifle. You can give it a uh, longer barrel so you have better range. You can give it uh, greater accuracy, better firing rate. And a lot of these mods you'll just unlock really quick because again, tons of rifles in the game. The other really nice thing, of course, is if rifles are dropping, ammo is dropping too. Um, I've never run out of ammo for my hunting rifle. I'm over a thousand ammo right now actually in the game. 
So yeah, hunting rifle, definitely the best way to go for early game in Fallout 76. Well, that about does it for this video, and I'm now approaching level 20 in this game, still using my trusty sledgehammer and rifle, so having a great time and no problems killing off big groups of enemies so far, even legendary enemies like 10 levels or more above me. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Fallout 76 videos from me, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It's free, so why the heck not? In the comments, let me know what weapons you found that have been your favorite so far. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Peace.